Hi, this is Pamela Spivey with the Spivey Daniel Real Estate Group. Welcome to our video blog. Today's topic is why it is important to purchase an investment property. But before we get started, if you're thinking of buying or selling, feel free to click the link below and we'll make sure that we contact you. Today's guest is Joe Fearless with Fearless Investment and he has tons of information to share. Today we're here with Joe Fearless with Fearless Investment and today we're going to discuss why it's important to purchase an investment property. Welcome Joe. Hi, thanks a lot for having me. So tell us a little bit about you know your background so the viewers can hear about you. Sure, uh, let's see, I uh, graduated from Texas Tech University in 2005, went straight to New York City after that, uh, was um, in advertising, climbed the corporate ladder, investing in real estate on the side. Then I actually became the youngest vice president of a New York City advertising agency. At that point, I just wasn't fulfilled anymore, so I decided to do real estate investing full time. Um, so I had four single family homes at the time, but decided to do apartment communities and start my own um, company. So uh, what I do now is I buy apartment communities with investors and then we share in the profits. Um, and I also have a daily real estate investing podcast where I've interviewed Barbara Corker and Robert Kiyosaki and many others. Um, it's called the best real estate investing advice ever. Wow, that's great. So you can go ahead and start and just tell us a little about why you feel it's so important to purchase investment property. Well, uh, I'd say it you know, really depends on the individual. Uh, some people it might not make sense, for others um, it does. Uh, I'd say generally speaking, investment property is a great way to uh, diversify your portfolio uh, of investments. Um, the reason why it's a good way is because of the tax benefits that you receive whenever you invest in real estate. Um, you know, paying down the principal on your uh, mortgage payment builds equity in your property, uh, and as well as the ongoing cash flow on a monthly basis that you get, assuming that you buy it right. Okay, and so someone who just has like one primary home and they're thinking to go to the next step, do you have any suggestions on how that would look from starting from just one primary home? Yeah, there's again, it depends on your goals, uh, but if, if I were to pick one approach uh, that I think would be most applicable uh, to you know, the most amount of people, then what I'd say is look at living in one side and running out the other uh, side. Uh, you can get the most favorable financing for that as long as it's four units or below, so two, three, or four unit. Um, and you could essentially live rent free or mortgage free uh, because you would be uh, living in one side, uh, say it's a duplex, living in one side, getting rent for the other, which in theory could cover all of your expenses, and you're living rent free or, or mortgage free while you're building equity and um, um, you know, getting cash flow. You might even get some cash flow because you might have a higher rent than what your expenses are. Okay. And what about someone purchasing their first home? Do you think it's a better idea to go ahead and buy that duplex on their first purchase opposed to doing that single family on the first transaction? Uh, it depends on the goals of the individual, but generally speaking, yeah, I, I think anytime you can live uh, rent-free or mortgage-free and uh, use that, uh, that money to save up and buy a next property, then that would be the best approach. And even if you don't take that approach, then at least think of, of what happens when you sell. Because if you are able to continual, continually keep the properties that you buy, and then when you upgrade, assuming that you upgrade for family or whatever, whatever the reasons, um, if you keep that first property for investment, uh, then you can continually build a portfolio, albeit slowly, but uh, you can build a portfolio that way. Wow. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers before we close out? Uh, I, I think, um, you know, one of, the, one of the things I start, I did whenever I was learning how to invest and the importance of investing was I just immersed myself with books and um, now podcasts uh, as I continually, you know, invest and I do apartment communities. Um, so I'd say uh, some books I recommend, Investing for Dummies. That's a really good book. They not only talk about real estate, they talk about different types of investing, LLCs and stocks and bonds. Uh, and then if you're interested in real estate investing, 
Rich Dad Poor Dad's Tried and True, really good book. Um, a lesser known book that I found really helpful is called Equity Happens. And then um, you know, feel free to listen to my podcast. It's a daily podcast, Best Real Estate Investing Advice Ever. And we have all sorts of, of investors on there who give their best advice uh, for uh, people who are getting started. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Joe. Thank you for taking time out and sharing with our viewers. And once again, thank you for visiting our video blog. And have a very nice day. Thanks a lot, Pamela.